What to do, Jive Turkeys? Welcome back to Controversy. I'm your host, Dean L.A. Carter, and this day has came. It's some. It's a day that I have not been looking forward to, but we knew it would be coming. Would be the last episode of season two, Mandalorian, episode eight, The Rescue. And yeah, will we be seeing more of this person in the future? That is TBA. But uh, let's get into the discussion. This is going to be a spoiler talk. So if you've not seen this episode, why are you even here? Get the fuck out of here. All right. Anyways, if you're still if you're still here and you've actually seen the episode, if you're like everybody else, we will have the spoiler discussion at the moment. I love this episode. It's not my favorite episode of the series. I think my favorite still might have been the one with uh, Sokatana, uh, but this one was a very good one. Uh, this one hit the, the hit the heartstrings a little bit more. This one's more of a, a tearjerker episode. So of course they they Mando got all of his little buddies together for the for the heist. They came to the ship, and they, they took over with a little bit of switch, switcheroos, and we finally got to see the dark saber, the black saber, in combat. And Moth Gideon, uh, for an old man, he's he, he's moving pretty well. <laughs> of course, that probably wasn't really him. Uh, and then we finally got to the chase of getting the baby back. He ends up beating him in battle, and he takes his sword, and then he brings Moth Gideon. To the other Mandalorian, he says, nah, uh, uh you can't just give the Black Saber to them. You have to win this in battle. And she's looking like, yeah, he's right. We're going to have to scrap. And he's looking like, do we have to, dog? Look, just just take the Saber. I ain't got time for this Mandalorian rules and regulation shit. I'm just, I'm just here for my child. I'm here for my baby. Um, but it looks like they might have a showdown in a second. Uh, but this is the first time we got to see the robotic stormtroopers in action. And that yeah, boy... Were they about to kick Mando's ass? One of them did kick Mando's ass, but of course he's a very smart person. He got away from that. And it was about to be a very epic showdown when it came to that. I, I was like, there ain't no way that these, these guys are going to kill these robotic stormtroopers. And then out of nowhere, nowhere, Luke Skywalker on his X-Wing comes through and he starts swinging that green saber of his and kicking some ass. It got to the point where Mark Gideon was like, uh-uh, he ain't finna get me. He tried to do a Zemo from uh, Civil War, and they, they were like, nah, you, you gonna live to see this shit. <laughs> that was a huge surprise. I'm over here thinking Ahsoka Tana was finna come through. But nah, it was Luke. A D, a de-aged, uh, a de-aged, deep fake version of Luke, which I would have loved to have seen a Sebastian Stan version of Luke, like a recasting of him. But they, they went that route, which Star Wars has not been doing really great with that. They did a... Uh, a Tarkin one that looked like a video game. I didn't mind much the uh, Princess Leia one. It wasn't that bad, but this one it was very noticeable. But what can you do? Mark Hamill is he's he's older. He can't play a younger version of himself. Uh, but I want to give my thoughts. I don't want to recap too much of the episode, but I want to give my thoughts of where I think this is going. Um, so Luke taking Gro Grogu. Luke taking Grogu kind of reminds me of when Obi Wan. And Qui-Gon Jinn took Anakin. Uh, Yoda was warning a little bit like, hey, look, you took this boy from his, his mother. This is going to rain some fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. That might happen with Grogu when it comes to separating him from Mando. You know, we, we think of this child right here as a very cute, cute baby that just, you know, we just want to hug and kiss. But still a very lethal child. Uh, and if you want to put some fear into this child uh, from this separation anxiety that uh, Luke just just <laughs> laid upon this baby, this this could be bad. Uh, that's my prediction. We might see some uh, tugging between the light and dark side when it comes to baby Grogu. Another prediction that people are talking about is, did Kylo Ren kill baby Grogu? Uh, which is, it's a fair speculation because... Kylo Ren killed a lot of the people from Luke's uh, school of Jedi in the future, which I think would probably be like 10, 15, 20 years from the current time in The Mandalorian. Uh, we don't see him in the future. Now, that doesn't mean that's what it is, and I'm hoping that's not what it is. Uh, between that time, there's plenty of story you could tell that he might not be with Luke in that time period where Kylo did, did all that slaughtering. But who knows? Uh, that that is the question though. Like, was he one of the people that Kylo killed when he went to the dark side? 
I'm hoping no, hoping him and Mando cross paths again in the future and they decided to have a buddy cop space story together. Uh, but yeah, I also think this is the next season is going to have less of our, our child and I think it's going to be more centered on the Mandalorian getting that planet back together, getting all the Mandalorian to establish their home. And it's going to probably lead to possibly a civil war because... Like it's been stated on this show, a lot of these Mandalorian do not think alike. Some of them uh, go with the mindset of don't take your helmet off. And some are like, ah, oh, it's okay to take your helmet off. Looks like Mando's, you know, he's he's becoming a little bit more open-minded to that. And I'm excited to see that. I want to see more of this lore. I don't know much about it because I never watched Rebels or uh, the Clone Wars. But I would, I'm would i getting into it as we, as we speak. Uh, so I want to see that. I want to see the struggle of trying to build this home back with the other Mandalorian. What are your thoughts? What do you think is going to happen? And let's also talk about this uh, end credit scene with Boba Fett. He went back to where it all started, where his life went downhill, and he just started he just started shooting up the place, and he killed the remaining survivors at Jabba's palace, and looks like he's going to be in charge of the new crime, crime ring. Now, is he going to use that for good, or is he going to continue the bad evil that, that comes along with it? It's a very divided question because this guy could go either way when it comes to his motives. So we don't know. I am excited to see this new Boba Fett show. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think of my theories of where the Mandalorian is going? What do you guys think of what I, of where the Boba Fett series is going to be going? Let me know in the comments. Help keep your brother out the street. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love, peace, and chicken.